Good morning to everyone out there. So this is the power of healing with Utabi Ungoweketelo. Yo, it's been a week, guys, ne, since I've recorded a video, and yeah, I'm a bit hectic these days. But anyways, um, still love you. <laughs> and so uh, today, ne, I'm going to talk about um, how the spirit, the spirit world. Uh, or the universe with us through intuition. So today we're going to be focusing on intuition and how we receive messages and uh, from the universe or the spiritual world or our spiritual guides or our ancestors. But yeah, I'm going to be focusing on that today. Uh, before though, I want to say uh, there's a lady who has been referring uh, clients to me uh, by the name of Pearl. I don't know who Pearl is. I've never met Pearl. She's never consulted with me. And I hear, um, she, she actually uh, refers them to me through Instagram and Facebook. I've never seen her. She's also a medium, which is very, very beautiful because, uh, and, and, and humbling because for somebody who does the same thing, that means she has that, that, that um, trust in me and my ability and my gift. And I'm, I want to be, I want to show gratitude to her. I really appreciate what you're doing. I, a lot of people, I don't know, this week I've been dealing with people saying, Stunyolo Pel, Stunyolo Pel. I don't know who Pel is. So it would be very nice if she can just communicate with me as well. Thank you so much, Pel, for being uh, my angel in human form. We don't get people like that every day. Not even our close friends or family does that, guys. So for a stranger to do that, it's truly a, 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 a uh, it's truly a blessing, and I'm really really humbled by it. Thank you so much. And then, guys, also I just wanted to say, with, with that being said, um, when when the ancestors call you to be a healer or they call you for a, 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 to to help and assist others, that calling. Because Dala, or, or, or in olden days, it, or Abantu still have this t stereotype of it being, is a, is a, it, it, it being bring, it's bringing struggles and, and poverty and um, challenges. The reason why you get that people are not doing well who are gifted or who have a calling and they're helping people is because when we help Umundu or when we help people, people make you like their personal assistant. Now, they don't spread the weed. If people go buy a, 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 a diet product that works, they, they blow the whistle, right, and tell everybody about the product. But it's different to when you get to somebody who's rendering a service and you are happy with the service. Now you want to withhold the information to yourself. We are not practicing wrong things, guys. And there is one thing that you should know in terms of, of, of healing or in terms of having a calling, one thing that is, is, is very sure is that we are so we, we, we have taken an oath of, of, of or sown to confidentiality. Like doctors, like lawyers, like we don't share. Even if it can be two neighbors coming to me uh, or consulting with me. I can't share this information to this one. I can't even family. I can't even share it with family. Some of the things you can't even share it with family, because we are we've taken an oath of confidentiality and respecting people's businesses, because it's deep business. It's not just light things that we talk about in our sessions or our appointments. It's not light things. It's actually deep things. So we. So I don't understand the mentality that you would want to keep. Uh, uh, this beautiful thing to yourself okay so I've often said to my clients I've opened a door for you I've, I've given you light and I've opened a door for you share that light if, you, if you've seen the mysteries of the universe if you've, you've seen uh, God working in your life share it with another person because all, we all need healing at the same time so it, the calling itself does not make you poor the calling does not make you struggle or the calling the calling actually is supposed to help you, okay, sustain you. But only if the people whom you are serving or people whom you are helping or healing 
spread the weed. So guys, ninga be selfish in sharing with you as good mutonche, uya wazuksiza because people need help out there. Nyabonga cool for the people who've been referring me and recommending me to other people, especially like I've I've had wonderful people recommending me. Thank you so much guys, I do appreciate that. And also, uh Beng Funu Gutsin Uh okay. I remember I spoke about my consultation process now and I forget forgot to tell you. Guys, I only take four to five clients of four to five appointments, consultation appointments per day. Not more, not less. Uh oh, less can happen, but not more. Uh I I, I actually take four to five and that is what was mandated guys. I, I don't change that. That's part of of uh 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 oh go the way by Funanga corner. And then um I only give you up to up to, up to five hours to secure your booking because you cannot book on, on, on Wednesday and tell me no, I'll secure it on Friday. You are blocking other people who want to look, block or, or who want to book that slot. So I only give you five hours, up to five hours, to actually secure your booking. Okay? So, yeah, um, and getting into business of today. So how, how the universe of the spiritual world communicates with us through intuition. In, 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 in the cycle, in the, in the psychic cycle, there is these things that we call the four clairs of, of, of psychic. They are known as the four clairs of, of psychic, which is uh, clairvoyance, clear audience, clear sentience, and clear cognizance. So I'm going to start with um, I'm going to start with a clair, a clairvoyant, okay? Uh, because a lot of times we don't understand that how we co we only communicate or the spirit communicate with communicates or connect with us through intuition. The universe and the spiritual world connects with us through intuition, and intuition is is sort of like your instinct, your 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 your, your sixth sense. We've got five senses, but then it becomes your sixth your sixth sense that you would use to understand and receive messages. So that's how you get to understand and receive messages and then try now to convey them into uh, uh, um, what needs to be done. So in most cases, um, how what they do is they would sometimes they would even give you signs and how you you you, you respond or, or understand the signs it's through intuition okay uh so let's start with clairvoyance because a lot of people will like and i'm clairvoyant i'm clairvoyant uh so clairvoyance is one of the the, the i think one of, of, it's not that common because it's not like everybody has it. So the four clairs, you would get that you, you can naturally have all of them at once. And then some people have one, some people have two, some people grow into them. They, 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 as, as you grow into understanding your intuition and working with your intuition, then you grow into getting all these clairs uh, unveiled to you or, or, or uh, you open yourself to all of them okay so let's start with the clairvoyance guys the clairvoyance that i'm clairvoyant that you talk about uh seeing clairvoyance actually is seeing images it works with seeing images uh so how i um so you'd get that you find people telling you a story right and they tell you a story <coughs> and uh, sorry as you tell as you tell a story or as you read a book then there's the images are actually created in your mind so basically it's like you are watching your movie or you are it, it is rec the, the movie is recreated in your mind so actually when you come as a client and you tell me a story for me now it's not just a story in words because it plays in my eyes like it's happening again so that is clairvoyance being able to see images being able to to understand even even as, as as that image is created, 
you get the feelings that were felt or the emotions, even with a book, the emotions that went into the weights, you, you actually get those feelings as well. It, it's like basically you are that person or you, you are in, in that room or you are seeing what is happening. So when you tell me about an, 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 an ordeal or, or an accident, I actually see the accident. I actually feel what was felt by the person who was, in, was involved in that accident. And that is what clairvoyance is. Clairvoyance is being able to see the images of, of, of the, whether the before or whether it's... So when you tell me a dream, also... It's not you telling me a dream. That is why I want to hear the whole story because, or I want to hear about the whole dream because as you tell it, I'm there. I can see it. I can, it it's like I dreamt about it. So that is what clairvoyance is. And that is why we say, so that intuition that, or that I do of, of, of actually seeing, that is, go, is done through intuition, guys. So clairvoyance sometimes grows over time. Clairvoyance sometimes, eh, 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 you are naturally born with it. So all, what you need to do in order for that clairvoyance to open up to you, you need to be patient. Because clairvoyance doesn't come, I think it, it's not, doesn't come as easy as, do you know, the other class. So... You need to be patient with it. And I'm going to actually, uh, as I go along, I'm going to share how you need to deal with each and every one of them. Uh, with clairvoyance, basically, it's patience. Be patient and don't try now to force the images or to force the thoughts and or to, to try and recreate it. It has to come naturally. And then we go into a clear cognizance. Clear cognizance, which is knowing something before or after it happens. So, uh, you would come and say, um, you would come and say, uh, you know, something happened, or oh, oh, as, 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 uh, knowing something before it happens or after it happens. So, uh, let me use this example. You get that you get a client coming in and as they come in you start seeing the old wounds that or you start not seeing per se but you know the old wounds wounds they're holding on to you you know the pain they're going through you know uh, the secrets that they don't want to share you know um, what um, actually transpired that actually made them do the booking or may may uh, may have occurred in their lives that is something that's heavy in their heart but they don't want to talk about it so uh and and also maybe a, a an ordeal that happened earlier in their lives you know so it's a clear cognizant is actually knowing what happened to understand so as you come i can tell whether you are i know you are in distress you are anxious you're curious you as and, and sometimes even with virtual calls with with you you just know the ki the type or the kind of person you're talking to uh, uh, or, or, or uh, as soon as you say hi i know or as soon as uh you pick up the phone i know whether you're anxious you, you know, panicking, uh, you, you have doubts, you are skeptical. So you, 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 with clear cognizance, you know all those things beforehand, which is one of, 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 of uh, I think also it works with instincts a lot of times. So you'd find that uh, something had happened and now you're trying so hard to uh, remember and because uh, there's, 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 there's your brain is or your your mind is stamped with a lot of things you don't remember. So how do you deal with that one? So you basically have to ask your intuition. Uh, you uh, you silently ask your intuition to give you that message or, or to 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 actually um, remind you the answer through cognizant. So you silently ask your your, 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 your your intuition to be cognizant or remind you of an answer through cognizance and which is like 
a lot of people would say uh, you, 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 you redo or, re -go or revisit the places that you've been to. So with, with something that maybe had happened or a conversation, it's not a place, right? So what you do, you silently go into this silent space and then you ask, you, 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 you ask silently, not verbally, but silently within inside yourself, you ask your intuition to remind me or you remind you, sorry, of what was being said. And it does trigger it out. So you just need to ask and, and, and be one with yourself. Uh, and then we go into clear sentience. I wanted to finish up with Lex audience because there's a lot of technicalities that go into that one or a lot of challenges that you might experience with that one. So clear sentience is, is actually recognizing feeling or scent. Okay. And now clear uh, sentience is more common to a lot of people. That's I think that's the common one to a lot of people because everybody has feeling has the five senses. Uh, 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 the five senses or the five senses whatever you want to call it your gut instinct do you understand so <coughs> so a, a sentence is being able to uh, um, read or feel the emotions that uh, of, of other people or what everybody is going through is going through so you're able to feel and read their feelings okay and um with that one basically uh so you would get into a space where you you actually uh feel feel uh like so you get a message, right? You get a message like um, you get a message like, okay, do this, okay. And as 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 you get that message, or or something tells tells you to do something, okay, uh, something tells you to do something, and then you get chills. So in my space. As, as I tell a client to do something or as I tell a, a client a message and I get chills on my on my skin, whether it's chills, whether it's good goosebumps, uh, that is instantly a sort of like a validation that that message is very important and I should stick to it and try to make this person understand the message. Because th that's a validation from the universe, from the spiritual guides or the spiritual world that you are on the right track. You are actually touching where the, uh, this, uh, where the person is or, or, uh, emotionally. So you need to, fo to focus on that and try to heal that part as much as you can because that is the most important. So that's, that's when uh, you, I would say, you need to understand uh, what the message is all about. Because a lot of times we get a message, we don't understand what the message is all about. So you would a lot of times when you get that message or when you get something that says to you, uh, you need to focus. And as 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 you get chills when some when that voice comes and say or that that feeling happens where you need to focus or you get that uh, uh, um, thought and you get chills that go with it, that means it's very important. You are losing focus. It's very important. So uh, you need to uh, focus on that, uh, like work on that or pay attention to that. Uh, and then, yeah. So with, with a clear sentience, right, or clear, clear sentient, uh, what do you need to do? How do you go about understanding that intuition? Uh you write it. So as you get those messages, as you get those messages with chills or a, 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 your a, a, a body reaction, you write them down and or, or as you write them down, you date them. 
Now, um, I think even with, with, with clear cognizant, uh, knowing something, because sometimes people have this thing of a, actually a, sort of like a prediction of something that's going to happen. Write it down with a date, and then when that thing happens, then you go back and refer and say, I man, do you understand? That's how also you get to understand uh, your, 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 your intuition or, 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 or how, how high or the level in which your intuition is at. Yeah, let's make it, let's put it like that. The level in which your intuition is at. So with uh, clear sentience, you really need to write it down with a date and say, uh, I felt this. And you'll be amazed at what, uh, uh, how many you have in a week. And that is where now your your intuition will start to grow because as, as you will start to get more messages because now you are actually uh, 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 embracing that gift of intuition. You are actually, so that is when it's that you start getting messages and messages as you dot that down. And uh, eventually you would get to understand a lot of things about yourself. Okay. And then um, we get to clear audience, which is now the very sort of like, I wouldn't say it, it's very critical and we need to be cautious. Uh, uh, with this one because clear audience a lot of people uh, talk about hearing voices because clear audience is actually hearing voices right and now with this one you need to be very careful that of the voices that you hear because this intuition works like this the voice that you would hear if it's clear audience it will not be harsh it will not torment you. It will not be angry at you. It's not that vo that kind of a voice. If you're hearing voices of anger and, and screaming, and this one is not tormenting, is not harsh. So you need to understand that uh, there's, it, it's totally different to hearing voices of, of, of psychological conditions, hormone imbalances, and, and, and also... Um, Vitamin and, 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 and mental defi deficiencies. So there is voices that you hear if you've got, if you've got uh, vitamin and, and, and uh, mental uh, deficiencies. If you've got psychological problems. Those voices are actually very harsh and screaming and fighting with you. And that, that's now, uh, uh, you know, either a hormone imbalance, either psychological condition, which is a mental illness. Or bipolar, or uh, other 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 mental illnesses, and then now with this one, which is now a some sort of shortage of vitamins uh, in, in 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 your body and and mental condition as well, mental deficiencies as well, that actually needs you to go through a specialists. So it's not clear audience. It's 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 actually an L and an ailment that you have to treat. An ailment or a medical condition that has to be treated. So yeah. So in terms of of, of how the audience works, ne? spirits or the universe do not go about bubbling. They are not chatterboxes, as my son would say. You are a chatterbox. They it, it doesn't give you a paragraph. Spirits don't give you a paragraph any time, any day when they give a message. That's why we work with as mediums. We work with symbols, we work with signs, and but and, and they give you short sentences. Three words, three, four, five five words sentences. Not a long story. Then it's different. It's not clear audience anymore. So you would find that sometimes it will just say the timing is right. Go for it. Mm, move away. Or change direction. That's how spirits communicate. Not a long story with paragraphs. They mm -mm. so clear audiences like that. Clear audience will just say, change, change your route. You know, slow down if you're driving. Uh, watch out. Uh, you you uh, you're losing focus or watch out. Uh, something coming. You know, as you're driving, I'm talking about drivers now. So that is how clear audience works. 
that is how that intuition works. Not long stories. It just gives you a brief brief sentence and, and it, to give a message or to send a message. And always, the, the messages are straightforward. Clear audience, always, the messages are straightforward. Hence, hence I've given you uh, the examples. You would not find it giving it like a long explanation, no. So, uh, yeah, and I think also you need to be very, very, because also with clear audience, sometimes you get that there is, um, because a lot of spirit, spiritual attacks use clear audience, hearing of voices, because isn't it, that's, that's I think that's, that's like, I don't know whether it's the easiest to get to someone. So the, 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 the bad spirits or the negative spirits use the audience all the time uh, to, to, to uh, frighten you or to, you know, give that a negative um, energy. Or So you also need to understand the, the, the energy vibration that comes with the voice that you're hearing. Uh, if if it's harsh, if it's it, then if you feel like this is scary, then it's not clear audience. Then it's something else, and it's not really a good message, or a message of healing, or a message from a, from a, a a a pure spirit. So, guys, that's how you really understand. That is how we connect with the spiritual world, or the spirits, or Amatonga, or ancestral guides or archangels that's how they they work they use the psychic class most of the time most of the time they would use that those four um and hence i've said sometimes you get that these these clairs work hand in hand with especially with a uh, clairvoyance when you're seeing images, uh, uh, images and in sentience, actually, sentience sentience works with works well with all of them because it works with feelings and emotions. Uh, so, how do you work on on your clear audience now? That's when you start working on your intuition because when you start working with your intuition, when you get to understand your intuition then you would understand the focus. So how do you work with your intuition? That's when now uh, a ways, you read, read about intuition, guys, what intuition is and how do you work on it. The, it's, the information is there. Uh, basically, sometimes you just need to take, you, you, you go out to a very quiet space or you become, you, yeah, let's start with this one. You go out to a quiet space and you sit there and sort of like a meditation, you listen to your inner being or your higher being. Sometimes you be creative, you draw, because that brings you to silence. And that actually you get into this zone of, 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 of you know, your own zone. Basically, you get, you get into this zone where you are by yourself, with yourself. So you draw, you would... That's how you work into your intuition. Uh, intuition mostly... When you want to exercise it, it has to be in a very silent and peaceful space. Um, you, you, you do water, med uh, water med bath, you take a bath, you take a bath, and while you're taking a bath, you're listening to yourself, uh, spending time uh, alone with yourself, basically, uh, being in a quiet space. That's how you, that's when you, because as you are in the quiet space, then you listen to your thoughts, you listen to your feelings, you know. So that is how you, you actually practice how to listen to intuition, how to get one, how to be one with your intuition. I hope I've helped you guys and I hope you do you still do subscribe to my channel. And if should you have questions then you would ask on YouTube because my WhatsApp number which is zero six one eight nine zero seven three eight three is only meant for uh, consultation appointments only, guys. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, hope you do turn on the notification button as well. Thank you.